Can you exp can you help my reverse dawah? I don't know what reverse dawah mean. I need to explain how ruh is a holy spirit. First of all, ruh is not holy spirit. Ruh is a word mean spirit. If you add next to it the word holy, that will make it the holy spirit. All right. So the word ruh by itself is not is not holy spirit it have to have to have to come in such a meaning to be the holy spirit so if the if, if the book says the holy spirit it's mean the holy spirit if the word holy is not exist then it's not exist all right so in the quran where it says When you speak about the, the Holy Spirit, it mentioned the word holy. As an example, chapter 2, verse number 87. And always the word Holy Spirit is attached to the name of Jesus. Always. There's only one verse in the Quran saying, chapter 16, verse 102, is not about Jesus. It says, and the one who sent it down is the Holy Spirit. And then the Muslims from this verse, they say to you, this is Jibreel, because Muhammad, he said, the one who brought the Quran to him is Jibreel. But Jibreel is not holy, and he is not a spirit. How we can prove that? Very easy. The Quran says that all the angels, they are a bunch of liars, and Allah got them busted. If you remember the story of uh, Adam, where the angels, they accuse Adam that he will do mischief in the earth. Right? In chapter 2, verse number 31. So Allah, he told them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So what is, was the accusation to the angels? They are not truthful. Why? Because they are the one who accuse Adam to do mischief. So how Jibreel is a holy spirit when he is not holy? There is no way Jibreel is holy and then Allah says to him, if you are truthful. I understand. Did I answer you? Secondly, the Quran confirmed that angels are not a spirit in different verse. In chapter 78, verse number 38, it says that they, that the spirits and the angels will stand forth in ranks. So obviously the spirits are not the angels. <clears throat> uh, baptism forgives sin. Hey, no, my friend, you are reading the verses wrong. Because if baptism forgives sin, then we do not need to do anything, right? Well, that's it. We are going to go to heaven. Yeah, you, you understand the Bible wrong. Baptism wash the old you because your heart now is a new heart. So when you get baptized, you are saved if you continue the trip of baptism, baptism is the first step. This is why Jesus says, not everyone, he says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you go baptized, but you don't follow the, the, the Lord order. Well, baptism means nothing. This is why baptism by the Spirit is extremely important, which means your spirit is baptized, not only your, your body. That's why Jesus says, it's not what go inside your mouth, make you dirty, it's what come from inside. So if you, baptize, you know, do the baptism, but your spirit, you know, you're fake, you're not saved. 
Uh, if Islam is not a true, how come many still following it? Well, uh, in Islamic countries, who dare to say Islam is not a true? And then you need to ask yourself, who dare to leave anyway? <laughs> how come there's still many following it? Because simply, who dare to leave? Give them freedom, you will see. The only way to know who is believing or not is a freedom. As long as you are forcing everyone to be a believer, then we do not know really how many Muslims there are. Secondly, uh, people in Indonesia, as an example, the biggest Islamic country, how many of them, they understand one verse in the Quran? They are born of a Muslim family. Uh, is baptism for an infant is accepted? You see, I believe that there is two kinds of baptism. There's a baptism um, where, you see, like it's an act, an action you do to announce yourself as a Christian. So a person who's an adult doing baptism, he is announcing, announcing himself as a believer. A child is not. A child is not. So a baptism should be done actually, not when you are a child. However, we as a Christians, we believe baptism will bring a power for the person to overcome the evil. So it's like a support for him in his journey. So I believe it's better. Uh, a child, he is an infant. If he die, still he is with the Lord, right? He do not need baptism to be saved. The Lord, he says, if you do not become like the little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father, correct? So the Bible promised that all those little ones are going to heaven anyway, with baptism was, would not. Christians, they fear that if the child is not baptized and he died, he will not go to heaven, but this is wrong understanding. But doesn't make you, doesn't, doesn't make it wrong. Still, you can baptize your child. But again, when you are an adult, you have to announce yourself as a believer, not only baptism by, you know, uh, by the old days when you are a child. <clears throat> Do you remember the, 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 the criminal who was next to Jesus in the cross? Do you remember him? He wasn't baptized, baptized right? Jesus said to him, today you will be with me. He did not get a chance to be baptized. He just believed. So, in certain circumstances, like you know, things can happen. Like you are, what if a person he is getting to be Christian now in Saudi Arabia? Who's going to baptize him? If he dies, he's a Christian, right? <clears throat> uh, Somebody saying, I will take the church father advice and this not yours. I'm not asking you to, to, to take my advice. I'm answering somebody. People are very weird. Secondly, the church father, they have to go by the Bible. And the Bible does not show children being baptized. Jesus himself got baptized when he was a growing man. You know, understanding the Bible is so easy. If you open your heart, and you don't have an agenda. Right? And if you are a person who says, I want to take advice of the, uh, the father of the churches, well, the father of the churches will get baptism when they are old. Starting from Christ himself. So you sound like an angry person. but you have no legitimate answer. The Bible says, show children being baptized. CP is lost in his Protestantism. It will show us the verses where it says, baptize the children so we can learn from you. Go ahead, post it for us. 
Was Jesus baptized when he was a child? No. Any of the disciples? No. Why are making things up? Secondly, I am not a Protestant. Anyone here will come to divide us, we will block you. Just I warn you. I am not Protestant, I'm not Catholic, I don't care for those names. Get away from here. You are serving the devil. People should not follow a church name, should follow Jesus. There's nothing is called Catholic Church can save you, or Protestant Church can save you, or Orthodox Church can save you. The one who can save you is Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you know, first of all, like when somebody is baptized, what is that? It's to announce that you are a believer, right? It's to join the faith. So a child, he doesn't know what you are doing. Very simple logic. He doesn't know. He's a child. You put him... Where you put him, where you take him, what do you do with him, he don't know. But some people don't want to use their brain. When you pray, each time you pray, you say, I mean, correct? Don't you say, I mean? Okay, can an infant say, I mean? Can he say it? Do he know even what does that mean? At least say, I mean, which means I believe in what you say. Right? But the child, he is pure because he commit no sin yet. So if he died and he is yet an infant, he is saved. Even some circumcision have to come in certain years, not when you are like little tiny one day old. All right, my friend, my Eric, go ahead. You can translate my books to Tagalog. <clears throat> you see, all of those things, you know, see like people, they come here and they say stupid things to you. Uh, they are trying to divide us because they follow the Satan, Muhammad. The Quran, in chapter 5, verse 14, said Muhammad, he promised, that his God promised, that he will not stop until he spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Any priest, he divides the Christians. He is serving the devil, Muhammad. Literally. For we are Christians, we are saved by the grace of the Lord. Not by the action of a priest. Somebody saying uh, uh, baptism is to forgive the sin of Adam. Uh, first of all, the sin of Adam, no one can forgive it save God. And you are not be punished for the sin of Adam, you are punished for your sin. People, they have a wrong understanding of the original sin. Original sin means Adam, he commits sin, but we are sinners too. We follow. You don't ask God to forgive the sin of Adam, you ask him to forgive your sin. That is nothing but philosophy. God, he judge you by your sin, not by the sin of somebody else. Uh, but anyway, you see here, people, they give you opinion of the churches they belong to, but they don't, they decide not to think about it carefully, uh, because everything has to be done, it has to be according to the Lord. When the Lord, he says, if you don't become the same as the little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So all the little ones, already they are in heaven, if they die. What is the difference between the little one and you? The little one did not commit sin. 
So all your journey as a human being is to become like the little ones. This is your target. Correct? Your target is to become like the little ones so you enter the kingdom of my father. So already they are there, you are not. You have to renew your baptism every day by being a Christian. Baptism is not just a water and the Spirit come upon you because that baptism can leave you if you decide to leave God. People here, they are some, some of them they are like Taliban, you know? Taliban, you see Taliban how they are? Like the Jews. The Jews, we are the people of God. We are, but how many times God, he punished the Jews? How many times? They are people of God. Go to the first, first king and see how Solomon himself is following other gods. What God he did to him, he says, today I will take your kingdom from you. Are you better than Solomon? Are you better than David? They are sinners. They are sinners. So people who they think that by being baptized, I'm saved, they are fooling themselves. You will be saved only if you do the will of my Father. We are not Shia who believe that God, he gave us the key of heaven. We are not Muslims who believe if we say Shahada, we are saved. You cannot fool the Lord by making a prayer. You have to repent. You have to ask for forgiveness and you have to practice it. This is why when they ask him how to pray, he says, pray like this. And the first important thing is forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So a person who have a baptism and true baptism in his heart, he is a person who forgive so he can be forgiven. Anyway, you don't have to agree with me. You know, when the Lord, he says, your faith, your faith has healed you. Daughter, Jesus said, daughter, your faith has healed you. You want to be healed? Don't be a person who is obsessed with sentence. And don't be a, you know, a fraud. A drug dealer who wear a cross. And supposedly his name is Johnny. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. How many of you is baptized and your fruits is ugly? So here the baptism proved to us that we always have the choice to be the people who baptize by the Spirit, not only by the flesh, and the Spirit of God is with us, or people who deny God by our action. From their fruits, you shall know them, not from their baptism. You know, people always, they, you know, like we say, we are against Islam, right? But there's many, they practice Islam without knowing, you know, they think uh, if we do this, if we light a candle in front of a picture, we are saved, that's it. I mean, my sin is forgiven. I pray for five minutes, you know, a guy, he just sold the drugs, and now he go inside the church, he give a donation, and now he's a good guy. You know, you are not a good guy, you are a fifth, you are a scumbag. You did not repent. Nothing changed on you. So you baptize the guy 1,000 times, he is still the same.
Can you detect a show about Omar ibn Khattab because Muslims claim that he is amazing? Well, the Muslims, they claim that he is amazing, but the Muslims themselves don't agree that he was amazing. The Muslims are hypocrite people, generally speaking. And, you know, uh, Omar, obviously, he have a power over Muhammad. Uh, uh, Omar is a very filthy man. Have you ever heard of somebody respect a man? He says to his wife when she is doing poo, poo we recognize you, Sauda. A man, he go after women at night when they are doing poo, poo and he look at their ass. And then he said to her, I recognize you. And she is the wife of his best friend. And she is the wife of the prophet. Do you see how amazing he is? And he is the one because of that, the, the chapter of the hijab came because Omar, he said to him the sentence, Muhammad, he took it, he put it as it is. All the hijab is happened because Omar was spying at the ass of the wife of Muhammad, read it. She went out to do the lady, you know, the lady, she go at night to do poo, -poo. Omar is waiting. The lady, she took off her panty. Omar, he said to her, Arifnaki, ya Sauda. We recognize you, Sauda. I see you. This is Omar, this is Omar the amazing. Bring them here. We will show them how amazing he is. Very amazing. Anyway, you know, we spoke about baptism. How many of you baptized? Hey, me, me, me. How many of you made uh, uh, help somebody become a Christian? Silence. So what is your baptism? Well, what happened? I am baptized. I am baptized. I am me too. And I am too. And then we find that you have your fruits. From their fruits, you shall know them. Don't be like the Muslims. From their fruits, you shall know them. That's it. Faith without fruits is the dead faith. The Bible says so, not me. Well, wonderful if you help somebody to become a Christian. Continue, my friend. I'm asking now. You see, if, if time come and the Lord will take you to his to, to the, the second let us say, stage of life, what you will say to him? I spent my life, I lived 70, 80, 100 years, and I could not even bring one person to Christ. What you would say to him, I was baptized? So what you spend your life doing, eating, you know, sleeping? Anyway. Remember what the Lord he said. When you visited me and I was sick, when you feeded me and I was hungry, you remember? That all is an act of a Christian. That is all is an act of somebody is baptized. So being baptized, but you don't do what God he told you to do, you are a fake person. Helping somebody is ill, Speaking to somebody is desperate, helping him not to do bad stuff or to go crazy or committing suicide. Visiting an old woman, an old man, they have no family, taking care of them, giving food, giving shelter, giving, you know, uh, uh, keep them warm. Anything you do, I mean, life, you are, you're alive, you're not dead. You don't help people by praying to God to help them. You do the help. Anyway, do we have any other question? You did baptism by a corrupt pastor? No, no, because he is not the one who baptized you. It was the Lord. No, even 
even if the one who is faith, like let's say he's a false person, still baptism is valid because God is the, in that baptism is not him. If I go to a church and the, 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 the priest there is a child molester like Muhammad, I listen to the word of God. Let us say later we discover that he is a fraud. No. He, he, you know, he will go to hell, not you. What, what you have to do with him? Uh, Edora, okay. It's time for you to go, Edora. You are just a spam machine, and you are angry. And I'm afraid that Omar is watching you when you go to the bathroom, and then he will make a verse about you wearing a veil. Is there is the other Jesus only in Islam, or there is doctrine and the religion? I don't know what they mean, Daniel. Jesus, you mean maybe there is uh, other religion believe like uh, they believe in Jesus, or they have someone like Jesus? Yeah, there is Mormon, Jehovah's Witnesses, many false ones. Exactly, you are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, not in the name of the priest. Yeah, the priest, the priest is just a man like all of us. He can be good, he can be bad. You don't know what is in the heart of the people, right? Unless you are the Lord Himself. So. You can talk to me, I can speak to you good all day, and after I hang up on here, I go all and do all kind of filthy stuff. How you know, right? You don't know. You don't know the heart of people. It's not their words that make them good. That's why the Bible, the Lord says, listen to them, but don't do what they do. Listen to them, but don't do what they do. Listen to what they say, because usually they speak good, but they do bad. Yeah, we will we will uh, start doing the Bible channel. You know, we will see which date we will start. You know, we did only one video, and uh, I'm sure many people will be angry from me there because I don't tolerate ignorance, and I have my opinion, which is I believe it's biblical. I don't care what people think. You know, I mean, I'm I'm not a person who, uh, you know, politically correct. I don't care what church you go to. I get criticized by many because, oh, I don't carry your view. I don't carry her view or his view. There's no other view. I mean, there's a view of the Bible. Jesus is my, my Lord, not, not a priest. I never follow a priest. <clears throat> never. And I will never follow one. The man who follow a priest, he did not learn from Jesus. He did not learn from Jesus. If I ask you right now, did Peter deny Jesus? What the answer would be? Yes. Okay. Peter himself was given the authority. Jesus, he named him to be the rock of the church. And Jesus, he knew what Peter would do, that he would deny him. So the rock of the church is a person who denied Jesus. Are you better? So how many of us, we think we are rocks of the church, and when things happened, necessarily things need to be done, we deny Jesus. The man is the man. The man is a sinner. His name is Peter. His name is Paul. His name is Mark. His name is Luke. Doesn't matter. We don't put our trust in Peter. We put our trust in the Messiah. Because even the Messiah himself, he confirmed that his most close disciple to him, they denied him. Even they betrayed him. So you put your trust in the Lord, you don't put your trust in a man, otherwise you are a loser. And this is, by the way, have to be done. Uh, even with the, with the normal life. Let us say marriage. Marriage. You see, a woman, she marry a man. A man, he marry a woman. But what, what you expect? You expect, a, you know, a decent man, a decent woman, etc. You expect what you expect. 
And then after marriage, maybe you, you'll be shocked what, what will happen, right? All of this will be shocking you because both of you are not from the same, let us say, from the same sky. One is a believer, the other one is not, or maybe both of you are not believers. So, and a human being, he changed. Even if you might marry a believer man, a good man, he turned into a scam later. He might deny his dignity. He might deny you. He might uh, leave you. He might etc. The same as the women. So we suffer because we trust the wrong person. So even when you get married, you should always maintain your marriage by faith. This is the only protection you have. The husband, he can be tempted by a different women. The wife is the same. If both of them are faithful, this is the only thing can protect the family, is faith. It's not the man, it's not the women. It is the faith. That's why Jesus, when he says, your faith healed you, in Mark 5, your faith can heal all the problems you have, especially, you know, spiritual problem or, you know, marriage or anything. Your faith. Without faith, you are weak. You are you are uh, exposed to all kind of stuff. Your husband he go outside. Let us say now you are an older woman. Your husband he go outside. Maybe he have money. He etc. Uh, young girls come to him. They want his money, not him. Okay, he got tempted. If he have faith, he will not fail to the trap of the devil. If he have none, why not? The same for the women. So faith, my friend, is the protection you have. Family has no faith, they have no protection. Their life will collapse. Right? Same time, you don't have to agree with me, it's up to you. <clears throat> but nothing, nothing can protect a person except his faith. Otherwise, all of us, we get tempted. If I show you right now what I receive in Skype, you will, you will not believe it. A lot of satanic women, they send me messages trying to tempt me. Non-stop. Non-stop, non-stop. If I open my Skype, now you will be, be scared. What is protecting me from failing into the trap is my faith. Otherwise, I, can, I will feel like I'm a, I'm a man like everybody. I have eyes, I can see. I have desire. It's only faith. And Satan, he will hit you hard, especially if you are resisting him. He will be like all over you. Yes, they are satanic women, why not? They are satanic. <clears throat> because they are doing this, the, the Satan trick. Temptation. Absolutely, they are satanic women. And this is for the same for the man too. A satanic man can be, can be trying to tempt you. You know, you, tr you try to resist this person. He, is try his, his, he keep going after you, you know, like, uh, that's it. He's, 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 he's satanic. He will not leave you alone until you fail into his trap. So only thing can hold you together is your faith. Otherwise, we will collapse. We have need, you know. You, you need to be rich. You want to be rich. You look around, you see people have nice things. You don't have them. You don't have them. You desire to have them. Right? All of us. Life is full of temptation. Everything. You just walk in the street, you get tempted. What is going to hold you together? You see your neighbor have a nice car, you have an old car. Or maybe you don't even have one. Most of countries, like poor countries, you know, like the bus is even a dream for them. You go to Bangladesh, you can't even get inside the bus. It's like a thousand people will go inside the bus can fit for 100.
So my friend, faith is what makes you strong. We are not Muslims who have a false, like Muhammad, he said, if you say, uh, the word praise be to Allah, praise be to Allah, sorry guys, <clears throat> praise be to Allah 100 times, your son is forgiven. What the heck? How easy? So now I will go and I do all kind of sin. Huh? And then I, after, at the end of the day, I say, praise be to Allah 100 times. Look how easy it is. Do you see how easy? That is Satan. Satan is trying to fool you, saying, oh, just say those words, you are done. You are clean. This is Muhammad. Do you want to follow Muhammad? You go, you rape, you go, you kill, you go, you sell drugs, you do child molestation, and then go home and say, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, 100 times, you are done. Are you going to say our father out of heaven 100 times? You cannot fool Jesus. He's God. He knows your heart. And this is why Jesus always, he insists that not is the word. It's not, it's not what you eat. It's what comes from your mouth. Which means what you say, what you believe, what you do. Atheists, they say Christianity forces you to get married. No, actually, even Jesus, he encouraged, you know, his disciples not to get married because they, were not, they have a mission to go for and to serve the world. If they have wives, how they can take their wives with them and their children, and they will be worry more about the children and the wives. So this is a lie. Secondly, uh, marriage, marriage is a, is a must for security for mankind. Why? Uh, you see, uh, uh, once I made, uh, I have an argument with a teacher. You know, you know those liberals they support homosexuality and etc. So imagine if the whole society turned into homosexual, who is going to pay for your retirement <laughs> tomorrow? Nobody. Who is going to defend the country? Nobody. The neighbors will take your country. So marriage is a gift and security from God better than your insurance. Your kids will die to save you. Your kids will die to save you. Your kids will take from their mouth to feed you when you're old. And your kids is the future of the nation. So people who they are fighting marriage, they are fighting their own self. They are just being stupid. If everybody became a homosexual, who is going to who is going to have kids? The kids who they are born today is the one who will pay for your retirement when you are seventy. This is the truth. It's even saying that. Like, uh, uh, I mean, even economy, like economy, this is not about God now. But they are silly, and you know what you can say? What you can say? Nations who have no kids, they have no future. Very simple. You get what you deserve. If you ask me, do you like to have kids? I wish to have 20, 60, 70, why not? I need to have a wife first. Then we can make the babies. Then we make babies, we go online. We make babies, we go online. We make babies, and then after like 10 years, we have like a Christian Prince Jr. open their channels, and he said to the Abdul, who will debate me? Hmm? We'll have like 20 or 30 of them. They will want to have a computer in his room. Why not? I love children, why not? Beautiful, it's a gift of God. Especially if you take care of them, you teach them. 
they will be a wonderful people. Right? Some children are devil. Well, you know, I, I, I remember myself when I was a kid, I wasn't really like, a, like the angel kid. <laughs> That's why I told you when the mafia, they kidnapped me, brother. This is a true story. And they asked for $3 million. It's a true story again. And my dad, he said, please keep him. Don't let me see him again. I'm not exaggerating. Anyway, so your child, even if he's a troublemaker when he's young, he can be a different person tomorrow. He can be a totally different person when he is growing man you know and actually for me i prefer to have a child who is a troublemaker not a child who do nothing for me it's not right you know a child he should be a child do what your child do and then you correct him uh <clears throat> more than 100 million to a million in india i don't know some people they say to me this number everybody giving me a different number but we are happy whoever speak tamil language he can have the book now for free um, if you have kids and you are a person to try your best to teach them like you know kids is the same as little plant if you take care of the plant will grow in the correct way and the kid he will be watching usually his parents how they do what they do right even if he is a troublemaker but by time he will learn if he have the like the the, the good parents he will learn from his parents how to be good uh, but if you are born of, uh, of there's no family you know most there's a lot of people have no family i mean there's the mother she don't care she's sleeping around taking drugs drinking or the father doing the same you never know so what do you expect from the child Actually, the word mafia, in case you do not know, is coming from the Arab. The word mafia, which means fam familia in, you know, in, the, in the Italian language. The mafia, when the Arab they occupy, when the Muslims they occupy Europe and they come to Italy, they force people to pay the jizya. They force people to pay the jizya. Chapter 9, verse 29. Those gangs didn't work. Islam is a gang system. They attack the neighbors, they force them to pay them, and they don't work. They are the gang. So when the European, they were able to kick out the gang, the gang, who they are European, they took over the business. All right? So you get the Arab gang, the Islamic gang, and now the other gangs who they are the local, they learn from the Arab what mafia mean. So mafia is coming from the Quran. They go to stores, they say you have to pay me for security. They go to families, the rich families, or even poor families, you have to pay me. This is what the mafia do. So the mafia really is coming from the Muslims from Islam and you can research it yourself <clears throat> you welcome my friend from India Mr. Th Thomas any other question before we go for today it's really cold here and I forgot to wear my socks. Oof. Any, uh, any question before we go? So if you are a person who speak the Tamil language, please download the video, even if you don't. I mean, download the link. It's not down in the info. 
Share it everywhere you can, because sooner or later you meet somebody, he speaks Tamil, you give him a gift. This is a really priceless gift, because the deception of Allah is not just a book. There's many books written about Islam. This is a book, is a huge box of information, things you will never ever learn by yourself. And even Muslims don't dare to say to me, you said that in your book. There's a guy, he made a, made a video, his name what? He's a, a German. You know, he was making supposedly fun of, you know, he, he found two things in my book he don't like. So he, he spoke about them, and we get him busted with it. But not a single Islamic scholar there to attack my book. They don't. Right? Uh, so I'm really happy to see the book spread it all over in many languages. Any other question? Talk about taqiyya. Well, taqiyya is a practice, a behavior. Yeah, some Christian they practice it too. Like the, the Christian ministers who says to you, Islam is from Abraham. They practice, practice taqiyya. They don't want to be in trouble with anyone. So they say what the crowd like to hear. No? Taqiyya means that you say things to protect yourself from blame, from accusation, from anything, or to, 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 to expose yourself to be not uh, agreeing. min hum So the Muslim will ask him, did your God have a hand? He will say, no. Who said so? Like Mimi Hijab, Taqiyya. Then we search on YouTube, we will find a thousand sheikhs saying, yes, Allah have hands, have feet, have hands. Taqiyya. So you, when you debate with them in order to protect Islam, they use the taqiyya. But don't think only the Muslim they use it. There's many false priests. Priests, not only just normal Christians. They use it every day. You ask them about what do you think about homosexual? They will not answer. Why? Because they are practicing taqiyya. Literally. You know? What do you think about Muhammad? They will not answer. Or they, they might say, even though he's a prophet of God. <laughs> you know? Like uh, the rabbi, you know the rabbi, the Jewish rabbi, supposedly, to weave a singer? Taqiyya. This guy, every, every day he practiced taqiyya, non-stop. He lived in Indonesia. He lived in a Muslim country. He knew what he can say, what he cannot say. Taqiyya. But the true Christians, they don't use the taqiyya. Right? <clears throat> What do you think about atheists and Christians being persecuted in Islamic majority countries? Well, you know, for me, persecution is not a bad thing. And I will explain to you why. Always you will notice that the Christians who live in a countries which is under persecution, they are better Christians than the ones who don't. So let us say, that persecution make a Christianity warm. The heart is beating hard. All the disciples of Jesus were killed, slaughtered in a very aggressive way. Church fathers. Discrimination made the Christianity super powerful. We don't fear it. We don't. It makes us stronger. It's like the fire turning the iron into steel. So I'm not worried about it. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Right? Some of them, they are ignorant about the topic. I do not know that Ishmael is not an Arab. Yes, Ishmael is not an Arab. Read the Bible. Isn't it the Bible says that uh, Hajar, she took her son and she married him, which means Ishmael, to an Egyptian woman? It's in your Bible. So how the priest, he said to you that the, the Ishmael are the Arab? <laughs> the Egyptian are not Arab. <laughs> the Egyptian are Africans. 
They don't live in the Arabian Peninsula. So we have the Bible, my friend. The Bible says that Ishmael, mother, Hajar, she took him and she went to the to the to Egypt, to Sinai uh, uh, desert, and there she married him to an Egyptian woman. So if the father is half Egyptian, the mother is Egyptian, the wife is full Egyptian, the children will be German. This is the logic of some priest. Again, they are using taqiyya. They are stupid, ignorant. Right? Why Muslims, they hate Paul? Because they have to blame somebody the same as they blame the Jews for everything. You have to blame somebody. You have to blame who, who you want to blame who. In the same time, we can find in their books that their books saying great things about Paul. That's why what Mimi, when he was talking to me, did you say that Paul is the messenger of God? It's your book saying that. Okay, let us read together here. It says that this guy is the Eve Hadith. I wasn't reading that book anyway. So, Abdul, listen, I'm quoting a different book. They are, they are very intimidated. They, were, they thought I'm reading the book of Ibn Kathir. Because this is what they prepared themselves for. Abdul, I'm quoting for you a different book now. Aren't you quoting? No, Abdul, I'm quoting different book. Aren't you quoting this one? No, no, Abdul, I'm quoting different book. And he hang up on me. Potato. Muhammadan, they are desperate. They are trying to find God when they have none. They are trying to find the prophet. This is why they try to find their prophet in our book. They can't find their prophet to be a prophet in their book. So they try to find him in our book. Isn't it funny? Our book is corrupted. Then they try to find Muhammad in our book. This is what they say. They have to blame somebody. When I show them a hadith, and the hadith is an embarrassment, they will blame who? They will blame Christian prince. Lie number seven. Christian prince lie. This hadith is the Eve and the one who reported, uh, Abdul, are you saying to me that you Muslims, you lie? And then when I quote your lie, you accuse me of lying? They have to blame somebody. You remember when Muhammad, he said, if not Eve, if not Eve, there's no woman betray her husband. And if there's no Jews, there's no food will be decay. They have to blame. This is, this is the conspiracy religion. Because Muhammad, he could not explain himself. He is a stupid. He have to blame, make conspiracy. So why, why women are bad, according to Muhammad? Because Eve, but, the whole, but those are stupid religion. They don't believe in the original sin. So if you don't believe in the original sin, so how, how come all women, they are bad because they are following Eve? And then you will find that Abdul saying, the Bible blame Eve for the evil. The Bible blame Eve. This is what they thought he did. This is why those potatoes don't dare to debate me because I know I know their laundry. I have all their laundry. All the laundry of Muhammad is here. So if not Eve, no woman betray her husband. But did Eve betray her husband? We wait for the Muslim to answer. Did is it true that if there is no Jew? Food will not decay. I have some food left on the counter right now. Brothers, sisters, if there's no Jew, my food will be fine until next century. But there's Jews, what you can do? Very, very stupid. Very stupid and very evil. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he favored the Jews? And if the Jews are the problem, well, Adam, he commits sin. Yeah. And Allah, he made destiny for Adam to commit sin. Don't they believe in destiny? Sabir uh, Ali, the brother, I came here every day. And you did not give me a proof that you are a true Christian. Uh, Sabir Ali, why I need to give you proof that I'm a true Christian? Why I need to do that? I want you to prove to me that Muhammad is a true Muslim. 
Muhammad did not circumcise. So don't ask him to take off your pant. I come here every day. You did not give me a proof that you are a true Christian. Maybe I'm a true Hindu. Still, you cannot refute me. Who cares? What a genius. Is your prophet a true Muslim? If yes, why he did not circumcise himself? Don't you know that the prophet, he says that Adam, sorry, Abraham, he sacrificed him, circumcised himself by using the sledgehammer? I, mean, I feel sorry really for Abraham. I mean, how you cut it by this tool, man? How big his... <clears throat> He used the ads to cut his penis? I mean, what if you miss? Do you Muslim follow the steps of Abraham? Do you cut your penises by ads? Don't you claim to be Abrahamic? He will go Abraham, he used the ads. So your prophet did not circumcise himself. And none of you use the ads to do circumcision. Like you can imagine. Go, go, Saber Ali. I don't care if you believe I'm true Christian or not. Get out. Uh, Muhammad, you know, he says stupid things. He ads. That's it. Very easy, very simple. Fast and easy. And it's available in Home Depot. I know, I, I think Abraham, his hand never shake, man. I mean, this would be scary to use. Like you lift your hand up and boom. Hey. How Muhammad he learned this information? Where he got this from? I heard that he used the, his van door. So I was wrong? Honestly, I thought it's the it's the door of his van. It looked like I'm wrong. It was a very huge hammer. This is why Muhammad and they don't dare to come here because they knew I will surprise them, and they don't know what to say. Go into different person. Uh, he knows some limited things, Aisha and etc. Uh, we know how to go around it. Here they don't know where to go. Whatever they say, we will have the ads coming. The ads is coming left and right. You know. It's illegal to convert into Christianity. Yes, it's illegal, which means it's a. You cannot register yourself as a Christian because they are, you know, a government thing. You have to register. Uh, but you can convert secretly, what we can do. But there's a lot of people leaving now. Especially after what happened in Iraq and Syria and etc. Things have really changed now. Like the Kurdish area is full of non-Muslims uh, who they are, they are ex-Muslims. Ex Kurdish, a lot of them convert into Christianity. No? Uh, and now in Saudi Arabia, things changing. Everything is changing. Soon, my friend. Soon. Great time is ahead. Great, great time. In Saudi Arabia right now, they have the the Sharia police is zero. You know, before they used to go in the street. If you don't pray, they beat you. They arrest you. If you don't wear the hijab, they arrest you. Now nobody care, and they don't even they don't exist. The Sharia police in Saudi Arabia. So things changed. Things totally changed everywhere. The future is not good for us now.
is not good. It's not good now, wasn't good before, it's not good in the future. You see, before, in order for me to speak to Muslims about Islam, I would be killed, right? Now I go to every house in, in any Islamic countries and they can do nothing about it. Now we can publish books and people will read it. And actually, the more they ban my books, the more my books will be wanted. You know, when you ban something, Make it, you make it more desirable. Uh, Adrian, uh, take it easy, my friend, with the, with the repeating the same message. It's okay, Adrian, He's, he will see it. Yusuf Jihad will see it. Yusuf, he don't even know what Yusuf mean, and he do not know what Jihad means. So leave Yusuf alone. He's a poor guy. Those Muslims, they have names, they have no idea what it's mean. I remember once a, per, a person who don't speak Arabic, he's a Muslim convert, he come to my chat, he have a very stupid name. I said to him, why you have this name? He said, what's wrong with it? I told him what the name is. He could not believe that his Muslim brothers, they asked him to use that name. They didn't know what the name means. Have you ever spoke in tongues? No, I don't speak in tongues. I don't. Do we have any Abdul? My feet is in the bye-bye. They are frozen. Uh, yeah, I like the book of Salman Rushdie, exactly. But Salman Rushdie, he wrote a book. Nobody cares for it. What his book? Actually, his book is not really a big deal. Over one night, this guy became a millionaire. His book became number one in the market. Everybody buy it until now. <laughs> anyway, so we decided to come here for 15 minutes to tell you about the book. And now we are for two hours and 40 minutes. This is a short video of a Christian prince. Uh, Muslims use Razik, Rizik, to justify accepting Bible is the Riz, Razik, is Rizki. I don't know what does that mean, Rizki, Rizki. I have no idea what does that mean. Is that Arabic word supposedly? I don't know what is that. Yeah, a short video of Christian Prince is like four hours, five hours, six hours. You know, yeah, I mean, this is short. No, actually, I said to myself, it's really cold. I'm not going to stay for long, especially this room is really cold, you know. Uh, but because now I can't stand up, I'm frozen. I have ice on my beard. Let me break the ice. My nose, my nose was running and now it's not running because it's, the ice froze it, you know? Nothing is running no more. And this is how Allah, he created the snow, brother. Do you know how Allah, he made the... Uh... <laughs> We did not talk about this. Okay, you re just remind me of this. Do you know where the snow is coming from? And the ice, according to the Quran? Brother, Allah have mountains of ice in the sky and he break the ice there and he send it on you. Quran, chapter 24, verse number 43. Why you remind me? Why? The cold remind me. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, and look here, the translation, they try to cover it up. What is from the mountain? You see, they take it off. In Arabic, it says, He sent down from the sky from mountains in it 
hail to hit with it whoever he will in the arabic in the english translation it, they took off that he sent it from mountains look at the translation change the, tra change the translator this is itani the see different idiot maybe we can find one have a decency maybe let us see he sent down from the sky hail like mount like mountains what mountain what is that or look look he's right supposedly he's trying to cover his ass so he says or there are the in heaven mountains of uh, of hail from where he sent down here this is what its quran says not or this is a true translation you see it science brother science he took that from a false book it's called the book of enoch in the book of enoch not the book of enoch the man mentioned in the bible there's a there's a fraud one there's a false book in that book there's there's uh, there's like uh, god he have his storage rooms he have a storage for gold storage for like ice snow whatever you know so he have mountains there and he break from the mountains hail and he send it down on us but do you see how translation can mislead people this is why if you don't speak arabic they can play all kind of games because there's no way to prove them wrong right you don't speak the language you don't know what it says in arabic let's change the translator uh, we go to uh, Shakir. Shakshok. Hmm. You see, they put the word like. There's no like. Mountain, wherein is hail? You insert the word like to fool you. He sent down. He sent down. From mountains, from the sky, from mountains. Not like mountains. You know, you can copy this, by the way, if you want. You can copy this part and post it in Google. You will find it, it says from mountains, especially this part here. Christian Prince, do you use the word Allah? Yeah, I use it to laugh at it. If you mean that Arabic Christian, they use it because they are under the occupation of the terrorist ISIS for 1400 years. If ISIS took over USA for one day, everybody have to use the word Allah. Do you see the science? Do you use it? No, I don't. I use it to laugh at it. Allah is not our God. In the Arabic Bible translation, some of them, they have the word Allah, because simply, they live in the Middle East, and they will not approve even to publish the book if you don't use it. However, this is false translation. The same when the Muslims, they translate the word Isa as Jesus. There's no Jesus in the Quran. There's Isa. This is a false translation when they say uh, Jesus. See Jesus? This is not Jesus here. This is a Isa. You don't have. But in the Muslim translation, they use the word Jesus. But in fact, there's nothing have to do with Jesus. Actually, here, this one, he's not using the word Jesus. He used the word Isa. If you change the translator, you will see Jesus. So those are false words, my friend. False translation. Do you recognize that the word Allah in Arabic look like snake? Yeah, you, you know, it's okay. But this is not what make it evil. What make it evil that Muhammad himself, he described that his religion is the same as a snake. Anyone remember the hadith? Anyone remember the hadith? Muhammad he described that Islam is a religion like a snake and will go back to its uh, I'm trying to find the hadith 
and will go back to its uh, uh, snake hole. Where is the hadith? Just try. So Muhammad, he gave the Islam, Islam as a perfect, uh, uh, like, uh, let us say, description. And this website is not helping me now. But we posted the hate before. Let me see, hold on. I don't know why it's not coming. The search engine is messed up. Yeah, okay, now I found it. <coughs> So when Muhammad, he gave this description to, the, to his religion, he chose the perfect one. And this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Hadith. Anyway. Uh, I will take one more question before we go for today because I'm really unhappy with the cold. Can you tell about the actual number of surahs in the original Quran? Hey, my friend, I don't really care about the actual number because nobody knows really what is the actual number. Uh, For me, I'm not really interested in proving to the Muslims that the Quran changed because that will not really help me much. Do you remember the guy who called me just two days ago? And each time I show him a stupid verse on the Quran, he says, this is the human being he added there. Do you remember what his name? I forgot his name. The guy from India. Each time I show him something stupid in the Quran, he agrees, stupid, but what he say, you say, oh, this is a human being he added this one. This is, cannot be from Allah. So what he's trying to do, now he's, they are practicing different form of taqiyya. They are blaming the bad things in the Quran on the human. See the evil, how it works? So now by, by saying, oh, we agree the Quran is corrupt, they are trying to defend Islam. That Islam is the one which is not wrong. So anything now in the Quran is stupid. They can come and say, oh, uh, we told you, Quran have a lot of uh, verses or not from God, right? So for me, that will not help me really to prove Islam is false. It's proved that the Quran is corrupt, that the Quran cannot be corrupted. Why? Because how you can corrupt the corrupt twice? How you can make a false book corrupt? That would be funny. So I don't focus in the corruption of a stupid book. I focus in a stupid book. I hope I'm making it clear to you. You know what I mean? Don't waste your time trying to prove that the Quran is corrupt. It's a waste of time. It's not even smart.
Just focus on the stupid Quran. Okay, the Muslim, you agree the Quran, all of it is a book from God? Okay, wonderful. Now, let us see why your God being is being stupid. That what that what does, does count. How this is from God and the and, and God is saying stupid things. Like now, we just showed you the Quran speak about uh, uh, ice is coming from mountains in heaven. Huh? How God he say such a thing? Ice is coming from mountains in heaven? Who is talking here? Stupid God. So if we, if we now, uh, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, oh, this is a corrupt book, and this is going to be from God, then you could not prove Islam to be false, really. You just to prove that the Quran have a lot of false stuff. Are you getting my point? Secondly, when a person tries to prove that the Quran is corrupt, as if he is admitting that the Quran is a true God book, without noticing, you know, maybe he don't mean it. Maybe he don't mean it. But you see, when the Muslims they say the Bible is corrupt, they are admitting. But the book is the book of God, because you cannot corrupt a book is not from God. I mean, I mean, I mean, if it's not from God, why you wanna say it's corrupt anyway? I mean, a person is corrupt. Whoever wrote a book, he's a corrupt. He will give us corruption. God is not corrupt. So when we show them that the Quran speak about uh, ice is coming from mountains in heaven. What he will say they will try to fix it they say like mountains but it's in arabic it says the opposite don't waste your time you see this is why the muslims when they want to debate a christian you tell me guys what is the number number one a muslim debate they want to debate about tell me please what is number issue muslims they want to talk about trinity right do you know why they want to talk only about trinity They have nothing in their religion. To claim to be godly, except believing in one God. And by attacking the Trinity, now you are in the defense. So they will not be worried about you attacking their God. And there's many Christians, they fail into this trap. That's why you see every Muslim on debate, they would do about the Trinity, and they would really do it. You know, he don't, he don't know, he does not get it yet, you know. He did not get it. And those Christians will not get it. Who care if they believe in Trinity or not? Don't believe in it. The question is, is your God is God or not? <laughs> Christians don't be ignorant. If a Muslim believe in the Trinity or don't believe in the Trinity, God, he say what he is. It's not up to you to tell what God he should be. The question is, if somebody is a Hindu, he have 35 million God. Are they true or not? So if there's 35 million God, well, there's 35 million God. And if you believe in one God and your God is a stupid, well, that's proof that your God does not exist. So they try to take you away from the important in order to keep you at distance from touching their stupidity. Right? All of them, they want to debate you about the Trinity. And if you want to debate the Muhammad about Trinity, you should not use your Bible to prove it. They don't believe in it. Anyway, use their stupid Quran. This is why they will not dare to talk to me about any of the topics. But they are lined up to talk to other Christians. Look how many of them, they want to debate them. They call them, they meet them, etc. With me here, we have zero. Because they knew we will make them hummus. Falafel. Like Jesus did not teach the Trinity. This is what they say, right? Okay. The Bible, we have tons of verses. They say, no, we don't accept them. So why are you wasting my time? Secondly, 
If your God is one or not, who care? What does that mean, my God is one? They think they are superior when they say our God. Our, we, we Christian, we believe one God. You are stealing that from us. Same time, if your God is one, how come this one, he cannot do what God can do? Do you remember when the, the, when the Muhammadan, he, you know, he called me just two days ago? And we said, okay, we agree that Jesus, he can create from the mud a bird. He said, yes. He can breathe into the mud and he make a living creature. He said, yes. I said, okay, can you prove to me that your God can do the same? He said, how I can prove that to you? You don't see? In a second, his God, one God collapsed. So Jesus, he do what God can do. But can their God do what Jesus can do? He cannot. Do you understand? So you claim that you have one God, you have two God. Who cares? Your God is an idiot. What kind of God, he says, a sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. And women have a sperm coming from her ribs. And hail is coming from mountains in heaven. And the thunder is an angel. This is the one God you are proud about. Christians, this is why we are here, my friend. We are trying to teach you how to, not to debate, how to conquer Islam. Muslims, they don't debate. Muslims, they play games. That's why every Muslim will give you a different answer. One Muslim, he will say, Allah don't have hands. The other Muslim, he say, Allah don't have hands. Depend, they are talking to who? If they are debating you, they deny it. If they are talking to each other, they agree, they, they agree it with it. Chapter 13, verse number 13. And you can open any Islamic interpretation. You will see that the, the, the rod is a name of a thunder, is an angel. And this angel, he have 70,000 angels in the right hand and 70,000 angels in the left hand. And they asked the prophet, what is the fire we see? He says, this is the fire built which he beat the cloud with it. This is the one God. So they are proud about one God, but they are not, they can't explain to us how God can be stupid. What you need to focus in. So when they want to debate you about Trinity, shouldn't we debate first if God is God or not? The first statement Muhammad he received from his God, his God Al-Fatiha, First verse, second verse. It says Allah created the man from a dead blood. This is not Al Fatiha, sorry, Al Alaq, the first, the first chapter, yeah. Because remember, the, the first chapter is Al Alaq. The Muslim they change the location of chapters. Look at this. The first, the, the second sentence Muhammad received that his God, the one God, he created the man from a dead blood. This is the one God. He's one idiot. So when you want to debate with Muslim about how many Allah is, who cares if he is one or two or three or four? He is one idiot God. And he have one idiot prophet. And you have to be certified idiot to believe in such a God. And this is why all of them we did challenge Christian Prince. I challenge you face to face. I'm willing to travel to Christian Prince if he dare to debate me. They know that I don't try, you know, don't go anywhere and don't. Uh, I challenge him to debate, but they will not let me call them. They will not even let me call. And when I call them, they hang up on me. Did you say that? Did you say suckle me? Yeah, I said suckle me. I was caught in your stupid prophet. I said to them in their face. 
I was caught in your stupid profit. I'm copying him. This better. Turkey. You can attend to the truth. Santa Claus is true, and your dad is not. Your dad is not your dad. Is your mom? Aisha, she is six years old. No, she is not. You know, the prophet, when he married her, and you know, like, and then we showed him the hadith, and they say, okay, this hadith is reported by this guy, from this guy, from this guy, but this guy, he did lie to the other guy, because he's very well known to be a liar. Therefore, this hadith is not accepted. We refuted you, uh, lie number one, uh, two, two. Oh, what the heck? Somebody needs some screws. How Allah created the belly bomb of Adam, brother? Because Satan, he spit, he wanted to spit at Adam's face, but the spit did not go to his face, it spit as his, uh, his belly. Oh, true, true. This is the one God story. I mean, who can deny that? Satan, he spit, brother. Anyone knows why, how women, they get their period? Any women, anyone knows how many, how, how women get their period? How many of you have my book, Sex and Allah? The one who have the book, they can, they can see the reference. So according to Muhammad, to make the story short, otherwise we will spend here for a century. And this is a short video of Christian Prince as usual, three hours. Uh, women, brother, they use not to have period. Yes, brother. Then, brother, the children of Adam, like after Adam, and in the time of Adam, brother, Noah, etc., they start having mixed party, brother, called the disco, women and men. So Allah cursed them, and He made the women have period, like beer, science, because they have a mixed party. If women don't go to the night club with men, they will not have their period. Clear evidence. True story. Hmm. Who can come with how shaitan he got the children? If Allah he kicked the shaitan, the first shaitan he kicked him out from heaven and he kicked him alone. And then the Quran says shaitan and his children. Then the, they ask how shaitan have children. So the Muslim they have to come with an answer. They say, Brother, Allah he created for shaitan a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. So he do nikah to this by that by shaking them. Oh, I'm shaking my legs. I should behave now. So stop shaking. You know, it's cold. You know, I'm not doing nikah. I trust me. So <clears throat> so he created for him, brother, a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. So he do nikah to the other one by this one entering that one. And then he lay, brother, 10 eggs. And then from every egg, brother, there is 70 satan, male and female. Beautiful story. And if you show them the reference, they will say, we deny it. Inside their schools, they teach it. Speaking to us, they deny it. Shaitan, he lay eggs. And from every egg, and Shaitan, if the first Shaitan only, brother, is a male and female in the same time. After that, all of them, they are male and female. Like there's male shaitan and male female shaitan. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And by the way, the Shia, they are not better than the Sunni. They say the same. Like if you go, like somebody saying the Shia don't believe in this garbage. No, the Shia, if you go to the book of Bihar and War, it's the same as Al-Bukhari. Bihar and War for the Shia is the highest books for the Shia. So if you go to the Bihar and War, you will see it says the same. Now we can show you a reference. Appreciate me, sir. Sure, sure. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, I think we found it. <coughs> yeah, here we go. This is the book of the Shia. This is equal to the Sunni book 287. Here it says, 
إن إبليس له نسل وذرية قال تعالى أفتتخذونه وذريته أولياء So it's really he have children and he have offspring Allah he says are you going to take him as and his offspring as masters instead of me and he is and they are their enemy and then um, let us see where here it just mentioned that shaitan he have children oh. okay here we go actually let us uh, use google translation google translation and then you will see that shaitan he lay eggs he hatch uh, see are you going to take Satan and of his spring as uh, masters? And then, uh, then it says, um, Shaitans are like male and female. The translation is not really good. And then, here we go. And, say, uh, and the offspring of Satan is from himself that his, his eggs, they, you know, like they break and his kids come from there. Like here, they are not giving the story, like a full story as uh, the Sunni, but we can find it in different reference anyway, in the, in the Shia books too. So both of them, they believe that Shaitan, he have sex with himself, and he lay eggs, and this is why he have children. It's just to explain something Muhammad he said. You know. What do you think about Sufis? Well, Sufis, according to Muslims, are not Muslims. But if we say so, that means all of Egypt are not Muslims, and all of Turkey are not Muslims. Yet, if you ask the Muslims how many Muslims there is, they will count everybody, including the Shia. Islam is just a hypocrite religion. Sufi is simply, uh, like Erdogan, Erdogan is a Sufi, you know. Uh, Sufi, they are really far from Islam in any main, anyway. You know, like Sufi, they approve of music, they approve dancing, uh, they have a weird practice which really weird you know and crazy stuff you know if you see the videos on YouTube jumping like you know like I don't know what to say uh, so the Muslim the, the, the true Muslim Sunni they believe Sufis is a cult it's like us believing in Jehovah's Witnesses to be a cult but when you ask Muslims how many Muslim there is they will say to you 1.6 billion they count Sufi they count Shia they count Ahmadiyya, they count everybody. Hypocrites. But in reality, Sufi are not really Muslims. Sufi, all of Turkey mostly Sufi. Most of Egypt is Sufi. And they are a huge number of, uh, of uh, population. Well, the Sufi, as I said, they have a lot of things against Islam. Like, uh, maybe we should make a, a you know, special video about it however they they disagree with the major things in islam you know as as a as a belief uh, especially when it's come to rituals and practice well my friend i cannot translate to turkish language because i don't speak turkish those who speak turkish they can translate No. Sufi are peaceful. This is a lie. This is not true. Sufis are very aggressive and they can kill like every Taliban. When they say you Sufi are peaceful, this is a big fat lie. This is a big fat lie. Insult the Prophet and see what a Sufi would do to you. They will throw you from the fourth floor, the same as any other Sunni. So don't fool yourself with those things. Why they don't believe in Muhammad, Kirin, and the Quran? And no, they believe and they follow. Uh, 
uh, my the Farsi translation already is done. I will publish it very soon. Maybe tomorrow. I will see. Already done that uh, the Farsi translation. You know there is a uh, uh, when when uh, when when people they say things to you, uh, nobody uses a brain. You know for a second, the Turkish are Sufi. There's nobody was aggressive as much as the Turkish, Sufi Turkish, to non-Muslims. Slaughtering, raping, killing. If you don't believe me, go to read the story of the Armenian. Go and read the story of the Assyrian. Go read the story of the Chaldean. Read, go read the story of the Christian uh, 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 in Syria or in Lebanon, etc. So people, they just repeat things without knowledge. That Sufis are people who dance. Erdogan is Sufi. Look how peaceful he is. Very peaceful. Yeah. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Uh, and I believe, you know, like uh, the, the Islam is not exist anymore as a religion. What is, exists today, as it in the beginning, it is the political movement. So like Erdogan, uh, he don't mind to shake hands with the Shia, but they are his enemies. Right? He's a friend with anyone who give him money. It's a political, you know, Islam is a politics. Islam, Islam is not a godly belief. As an example, Saudi Arabia now is buying weapon from Israel. Emirat buying weapon from Israel. Turkey buying weapon from Israel. Turkey depend actually in the technology of Israel. Azerbaijan buying weapon from Israel. Sudan buying weapon from Israel. Morocco buying weapon from Israel. I mean, who's left? In the same time, Takbir, the Jewish is our enemy. Islam is politics. Islam is not a religion. It's a religion of hypocrisy. So if your hand is strong, they kiss it and they call you sir. When your hand is weak, they cut it off. And they do that to each other. And they did that since the beginning of Islam. They killed even the grandsons of Muhammad. When they are weak, they slaughter them. When they are strong, they kiss their hands. What about Ibadism? I don't know what is that. What is that Ibadism? This is something I do not know what is that. I don't know what is that. You know, when Saddam Hussein was slaughtering the Kurdish by chemical weapon, not a single Muhammadan opened his mouth, including the Sufi. Why? Because it's okay. He's a Muslim killing Muslims. This is, this is the mentality of this cult. It's okay for Muslims to kill Muslims. It's not okay for non muslim to kill. So if the one who was doing chemical weapon, it was a France. Oh, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, they will go crazy. As long as it's a Muslim, his name is Saddam Hussein. He claimed to be descended from the Prophet. He can kill millions of Kurdish. Use chemical weapon, like kill them like a fly. It's okay. Same in Syria, same in Saudi Arabia, same who they are. You know, so this is not really a religion. And you will see always that the sheikhs of Islam, they speak always and they sing the song of the king of the country. So if the king of the country says wine is okay, everybody says wine is okay. <laughs> like now the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, uh, he allowed bikini in Saudi Arabia. He allowed women to drive. He allowed women to sing. They have parties. They have parties every weekend. They have a ministry of entertainment. Just 20 years ago, who dare even to walk, a woman to walk in the street wearing no, showing just the, the, the bottom of her feet. All the sheikhs are now, they agree. It's okay. It's halal. The crown prince, he says, it's okay to say Merry Christmas for the Christians. All the sheikhs in Saudi Arabia says, yeah, it's okay. It's no problem. This is why you see Mifti Mink, Zakir Naik, I mean, you know, all those potatoes, the bent who is paying them. Who, who is the one who pay me? 
I will say as he say. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a business. Islam is a business. All right. Now I got to go because my feet, I don't feel them no more. Uh, Allah is not warming me, brother. I'm going to say, inshallah. Can we buy your books in Arabic? I don't have my books in Arabic, sadly, because simply I believe Arab don't need my books in Arabic. There's many great people. They spoke about Islam in Arabic already exposed. It. There's a debate between a Christian and uh, the highest sheikh in the time of the Caliphate in Abbasiyin. This guy, this Christian, he made the, the, the biggest sheikh, Shish Kebab. The Muslim gets so angry. Why the Caliphate don't cut his head? The Caliphate was a smart. He, he depend in this Christian. He trusts him. He don't trust the Muslims. So he said, if you don't challenge him, he will not respond to you. <laughs> but look at the, the Caliphate, the hypocrite. Because this Christian is unique. He need him badly. He cannot just cut his head. So the Christian, he wrote a letter back and he made the biggest shake at that time, a shish kebab. Imagine, I cannot believe it, that in, he is in the Islamic state. And he said to the, to the sheikh, and when you speak about your friend, so-called Muhammad, you can imagine how insulting this is, your friend, your friend, the one you call him Muhammad, the prophet. Imagine you are working for the caliphate. They can cut your head in two seconds. And this guy, he is making Muhammad shish kebab. And the caliphate could not harm him because he need him badly. Very badly, obviously. You know? If you go to, uh, uh, I don't know if it's still working, uh, investigate Islam, there's a, a section in Arabic. You can't find the debate in Arabic as it is. Anyway, it's time to go. Each time I say it's time to go, it's going to stay for 10 hours. You guys, you are you're like a trap for me and you are taking advantage of my kindness. And uh, I don't want to ask Allah to uh, curse you and make you, uh, you know, look like Christian Prince uh, because this is not nice to look like me. So I'm not going to curse you now. I will forgive you. And then we will, uh, you know, we will, uh, we will go from there. I want to say thank you again for being here. Don't forget to download the the. The book, it's in the info. The link is down. Please download it, repost it in different Google Drive. Don't keep it in that drive because that link might disappear. Download and share. Until we see you again. I say, may the Lord have mercy on all of us. And I say, and I pray that the Lord will send people who they are better than me and better than you, better than all of us, to do better work to serve him because the Lord he says from their fruits you shall know them so still we need people who have a good fruits and we pray even that their fruit will be way better than ours because our fruit still is far from be calling good we need to do more more and more God bless you Christ is Lord and see you soon again take care I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun 
is halal fat. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 